Hello and welcome back for some more Kaiser Reich action. So I think this episode we're going to do some administrative-y crap. So, let's start. Who has a lot of IC? Yeah, 33, 45. Why is you so bad? Well, doesn't matter. You guys, here, yeah, it has some blueprints. But mostly... I want to give you some ships. Here you go. Ha have some stuff like that. You got like 30 IC. You can have a couple battleships. There you go, bud. Now you've got 10, 9, 6, 15... 28, you can have some battleships. So we're just getting rid of our really old ones here. There you go, fellas. Mexico. You, sir. You can have those battleships. These cruisers. So we're going to get rid of this surface fleet because we're building a new surface fleet that's better in every way. I mean, they don't even have a port to put in navy. Kind of sucks to be them. I think I'll give France some ships. And they have a lot of IC now. They can probably make better use of this stuff. And those African countries, or not African, the South American countries will. Um, you know, Canada? Why not? You can probably afford to take some stuff off my hand. Ooh, I should keep these old carriers. Yeah, let's keep those old carriers. Let's uh, ditch the old light cruisers, though. Well, no, actually, you know what? Let's give the old carrier Saratoga to India and some light cruisers. 15 I see. Oh, you know what? We're allied with you now. Oh, we can't send you anything because you're a puppet. Canada. So what should I give you? I don't think they're going to get anything. Do I have any subs left? don't think I do. Yeah, I don't. Okay. So we got plenty of that going on. I mean, once this fleet's ready... Everything else we got won't matter. It shows the nuclear icon, but that's not actually true. Oh, sweet, the entire navy is under construction. That's great. Number 10. We'll do some more negotiating. Faster. Um, you know what? I should probably deploy my troops around Spain here. Or not Spain. France a little bit.
Okay, we'll just kind of let some of this marching happen. Once we're ready for our actual war, the invasion, we'll reconcentrate these dudes. But for now, spreading them out to make sure that the British can't just uh, stomp all over us is a good idea. And we're also going to be helping the uh, Canadians with their unrest problems, because they're bound to have some. Semiconductors need chemistry? No, they don't need chemistry. Okay, well keep going, dude. Keep researching. Another thing we're going to need is air units, so we can airdrop on these guys. Boy, there's so many demands on my resources. Um, yeah, let's just research uh, strategic rockets. Why not? The Redstone Arsenal can go do it. Here, you guys can just march into Cherbourg. Okay, so Canada is starting to deal with all this territory they occupy. I guess there's no events that they're using, they're just getting rid of it. Did they give this back? Yeah, they did. They give... Oh, they didn't give Greenland back, though. Why did our production shift? Let's drop this convoy stuff down to the bottom of the queue for now. Except for one, we'll leave it at the top, just so I don't have to deal with that jump. And that'll let us get a little further down the ship list. Can we make it to the CVLs? I guess we did. Creole. What is that, a light cruiser? No, oh, it's one of our new CVs. Cool deal. Oh my god, I just moused outside of the window. Well, that sucks. It wasn't doing that earlier today. So that's a new and horrifying phenomenon. Let's cash in these DD5s and these CL4s. go guys. La Plata. Four, five. Scroll the map. 
mouse. Uh, we'll also get rid of these DD6s that don't have ASWs. There you go, guys. Mexico, you can have some too. That'll do us. All right. Defender, the attacker. Okay, I'm starting to notice a trend here with our ship names. A little heavy on capital ships. That's okay. change. All these ships will get used. I'm going to try to prepare either one big, like one nasty fleet, or two nasty fleets that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with what the Brits have. Uh, Self-propelled artillery. Anything else is in the 1950s. It's, we're going to be doing uh, those air landings. So it's going to be worth it to push these transport planes up. Okay, nuclear waste bomb. Awesome. Just keep working on reactors, guys. I realize you're not working on it at all, but, you know, if you want to pretend you are, I would feel a lot better. Now, this is 1949 tech, so we might as well pick it up. like that. We'll keep going. Let's deploy all these destroyers over here. Wow, we're up to DD-9s. What's the difference in performance between a DD-6 and a DD-9? air attack. Hmm. It's dramatic, but not huge. My little allies. They've got little tiny fleets now. It's going to work out pretty good for us. Stop the upgrades. We need to build new stuff right now. We can upgrade later. kind of at a point where we're just waiting. Oh, hey, the French actually got some troops up here now. Is that my ships? Yeah, that's the ones I gave them. Cool. We'll just let these destroyers go until they're all done. Oh, I did see these were still under uh, Indian control, so I had Canada grab them between episodes. I 
I think it makes more sense for territory to be... What are you doing? We're not even at war with them. We're co-belligerents in a war against somebody else. It needs to just go away. I don't know why they're not. Okay, strategic rockets. Work on rocket interceptors. You might as well. Might as well, right? And it looks like we're going to get some of this stuff done, too, while we're at it. And honestly, that's fine with me. I'd like to clear out this crap. You know, we're probably due for more industrial research. Yeah, we totally are. done with that. Let's go ahead and work on this, because that will hurry up all those random projects we got going on. I think that's Southern Railway's job right there. Okay, that's suspicious. Spain is actually defending themselves properly. Am I controlling them? No? Okay. Wow. Did they draw all those out? I guess after that revolution, they pulled all their troops out of Africa? Or, I guess they have 200 IC. They can do whatever they want now. They have a bunch of old production they had queued up just finished. And we're down, we're tickling the convoy pool now. Oh wait, because we got that one at the top, that's right. So these guys are going to take a couple years. So it looks like by the end of 1951, we'll be in position. the range. Uh, aircraft. 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 I'm just trying to figure out what I need to do to get the troops I need, where I need them, to win the war. Where I need them to be. You know what I'm saying? Action Francais. Well, good for them. Improved rocket interceptor. It's kind of a goofy thing to bother researching. Oh, but we unlocked ballistic missiles. Missiles? Missiles. Should I nuke England? There's a question to wonder. I mean, it sure would make the invasion a lot easier. Yep, just keep working that infrastructure, people. We're laying rail lines, building roads, all that good, good stuff. This is going to be kind of a... You, you probably should consider this a really goofy decision. But we're going to go for it. When I build these transport planes, I just want to build the right ones. We're going to build uh, 12 of them to deliver 9 paratroopers.
Nobody's used nukes yet. That's kind of odd. Oh, hey. French got some transport ships. And they're running them on the coast, of course, because that's the safest place to do it when you're fighting the British. What, what are you doing? I don't think I've seen a convoy get destroyed in a while. Maybe giving our ships out to our allies helped with that a little. Alright, let's start working on some Air Force stuff. Let's rebase these interceptors. All the way back here. Hey, hey! Oh my, oh my god! You! All the way back here. Let's build two more wings of interceptors. We'll just finish out that force. And let's build fighters. They got better range. Maybe not a lot better, apparently. Well, we might be about to research better fighters. Not a lot going on. I mean, we've everything's kind of uh, stalemated. They've refused to surrender because it's a major power war, and that's just how those kind of conflicts go. So we're just gonna build. And it's probably not gonna be 1952 until we get this invasion going, which honestly sounds absolutely ridiculous to me, but that's what we're doing. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we just developed... That's 1956. Okay, that's going to be a while before we go after that. Which is just as well. We should come up here. Start in on this. It needs stars. Anybody have seven? You have seven stars. You get to work this distributed control system for us then. Since the Canadians gave us the blueprint. Interoperability. Didn't I research that already? Oh, I'm researching right now. So one of my allies gave it to me two days before we finished it. Night vision tactics. Oh man, are we inventing night vision? That's exciting stuff. And we actually need factory the most. That seems kind of counterintuitive to me, but... Let's go for it. If I move away here, like, you think they'll foolishly do something? They probably won't. They won't, right? So we're just teacher bomber 1949. Let's build naval bomber 1949. Tactical, so you only need one of these. So, could I have skipped the entire naval bomber tree? No, no way. So, we got friendly aircraft over flying them here, hull. That's it. We do an airdrop into hull. And we shuttle all of our troops in. Of course, that shuttling is easier said than done. But once we're there, 
They ought to collapse like a house of cards. Thank you, Overflight. Okay, the French are finally able to garrison their territory. I guess I don't need to do that anymore. What? A French naval invasion. Okay, supported by Canada with... Carriers. Game, I am not letting you steal my glory here at the end. Are we producing nukes? No, we need a bigger nuclear plant. Okay. More production. I don't really need more production. You got 400 IC. Uh, y you are like the in incarnation of production. Oh my lord, that takes forever. Probably these radar stations, that's kind of useful. I'm gonna go crazy if I try to micromanage that. Okay. Got that. We got our attack bomber research where it needs to be. So let's build placement tactical bombers. Wow, that's so short. Still longer than close air support. So get that going. So what's the range? 300. 1200. 250. Oh, I see. So the models never change okay can I rebase them I don't remember if you can rebase these things or not and did we finish the naval stuff no all right so as soon as we do we'll queue up some of that get that up there the carriers still getting there no Carrier pri- Like, these are the most important thing. Alright. Get the carriers built. Everything else is kind of gravy. They don't require that much IC. They just require lots of time. Which is a frustrating thing. I think that means the only thing left in International is the Union of Britain and its two little substates. For whom it's not really clear why they let them go independent to begin with. And the Canadians are just massing troops on the Russian border. I don't know, man. We just don't know. But I have star and wrenches? That's equivalent to four. Or no, star and platform. Oh, the McWayne Steel Corporation. Well, there you go. That economic stuff. I guess you guys can work on some radar for me then. Oh, 
Holy crap, France! Hey, somebody took that back. And Malta's back. So all the little random stuff that they held is gone. Cool deal. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.